Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Almost exactly a year ago we did this war game. Could a Chinese naval force strike the US mainland west coast at San Diego? It was a good fight, but so much has changed in DCS over the last 12 months that it needs modernizing. We've got all new ships, we've got all new missiles, we've got new radars, and probably a whole bunch of other stuff. So we need to start again, same set out, but new weapons. The basis of what we're doing is China has traversed the Pacific Ocean with a very small stripped down carrier strike group. They are getting within 250 miles from the US naval port at San Diego and they're going to try and take out as many ships as possible. Yes, we're aware it's unrealistic. There is no way a carrier strike group could get across an ocean without being spotted. They're so big, they're so easy to track. But let's just pretend for fun they could. And the first the Americans know is when they're spotted 250 miles off the coast. I should say, if you want to know more about the background and the research we did for this, please go and watch the original video, which I will link in the video description. But in terms of role play, I'm going to skip that for today to save time. First, geography. We do not have the US West Coast in DCS, so we've made our own. This is the West Coast of Syria, Lebanon, and Israel. Here is San Diego. Here is America, California. Here is Mexico. Here is Tijuana. Why is it upside down? Well, it just suits the topography that way. So we've mirrored north to south. That allows us to keep everything within scale to real life. Here is MCAS, Marine Corps Air Station, Miramar, the closest quick reaction base to San Diego. In terms of units, first, overview. Chinese strike group consists of three ships. One Type 003 Fujian CV, their latest carrier. Two Type 055 destroyers. And that's all. Again, for the original roleplay, they wanted to keep the group as small as possible to aid not being detected. Aboard the carrier are two air wings of J-15B. At this point you say, well, now we have access to the J-35, the modern 5th gen naval fighter, why aren't you using that for China? And that's because this battle is here and now, 2023. The J-35 isn't coming into service until 2026, 2027, so it doesn't exist for this battle. Two air wings, J-35, 25 of them, air to air, 25 of them anti-ship. Remember, the main goal of the Chinese is to strike the shipping in the San Diego port or harbour. Total 50 aircraft. The US defence, MCAS Miramar. Wartime squadrons, according to their wiki page, are VMFA 232, 311, 314, and 323. 232 and 323 are both legacy Hornet, about 12 aircraft each. 311 and 314, very interestingly, are F-35s, but not Bs, they're Cs. And this is actually the first time I learned that US Marine Corps are using C model, the naval lightnings. 24 total lightnings, total 48 aircraft. They are not expecting the attack, obviously, so they are not at QRA stations, so it will be about five minutes before the AI aircraft get into the air. Next, unit details. Here's where it really starts to differ from the original one that we did. So 250 miles from San Diego Harbor is the very small Chinese attack. First, two escort ships, actually strike ships, type 055 destroyer, the latest destroyer, an extremely dangerous and highly respected vessel. It's actually cruiser size. Weapons we're interested in today. First, YJ-21, semi-ballistic hypersonic missile, this one here. Max speed, Mach 10. Impact speed, Mach 7. Very dangerous weapon. It will be fired into the harbour and will be set to track the largest radar cross-section, the biggest ship, which will be the supercarrier that is in port. Next weapons, YJ-18s here. Supersonic. There are 16 YJ-18s and 8 YJ-21s per ship. As well as that, the usual battery of self-defense weapons, HQ-10 and HHQ-9B long-range SAMs. The carrier is carrying two air wings, as we saw before. The air-to-air -air J-15s are equipped with what we consider more realistic loadouts than we used before. We're moving from kind of fantasy murder spec loadouts to more realistic loadouts. So gone are these huge loadouts here. We now have six PL-15 long-range missiles, range about 120 miles, and two 
PL-10s, then the air wing of Andy's ship, armed with two supersonic YJ-12 anti-ship missiles and a couple of self-defense missiles. They'll take off, they'll get up to 40,000 feet as quickly as they can. They'll fire their missiles straight off then at 250 miles from the harbor. Again, they're going to hopefully track the largest vessel in the harbor. Another big difference from the previous time we ran this battle. Last time we used core game YJ-12, which in core game only has a range of about 100 miles. Then it runs out of fuel. So we've made our own, or should I say CH has made one for us, which can now go the realistic 250 miles. All those aircraft are AI as set to max skill level as we usually do. And of course, we've got our respawning humans uh, at the back here to give my guys something to do, which will have the same air to air loadout as we saw before. And that's it. Just three ships, 50 aircraft plus humans to do the strike. Next, the defending Americans. First, we have the port. It's obviously not to scale because it's not actually the right port. This is, I think, Syria or maybe Lebanon. I've forgotten now. They've got a supercarrier in port, which will obviously be the prime target for the Chinese. They want to take out as many supercarriers as they can. And luckily, there's only one in port today. Two LHAs, uh, small carriers and a spattering of Ticonderogas and Ali Burke cruiser and destroyers. We've missed out the LCSs this time that we had in last time, which are stationed here. Uh, we were having some problems with the sim crashing in testing, and we've got rid of them just because they're an unknown quantity. But it doesn't really matter. None of these ships are manned. None of these ships will fire their weapons, as in real life. Luckily, there are two Arleigh Burks leaving port. They will be armed, or they will be able to be armed when they see the threat. Arleigh Burke Flight 3, another departure from last time. Last time, we had Flight 2A. That's kind of 1990s. This is Flight 3, very much 2020s. Very potent vessel, more self-defense or fleet defense than attack, which is perfect for today. ESSMs, they will have 64. SM2, they will have 32. SM6, 32. And SM3, critically, anti-ballistic missile, missile, Eight. In terms of SAM defense, all we've got, as far as we can see, as per real life, is Shorad, short range air defense at Ramat David here, which is simulating the location of MCAS Miramar. There is no HIMAD in this part of America, as far as we can see, no Patriot sites. The defense appears to be the ships themselves. We have next the four USMC squadrons, two squadrons Hornet, two squadrons F 35C. First, Hornet. Now, you're going to get a bit upset with me here, but it's the best I can do. I've had to use Super Hornets. Well, why is that? Well, it's because in real life, the legacy Hornets that the USMC are using can carry the latest weaponry. Think A120D1 and D3. But in game, we can no longer force the legacy Hornets to use these modern weapons. So we've had to replace them for Super Hornets. Now don't worry too much, they no longer have uh, extra pylons modelled per se in that the loadout is, is realistic of six AIM-120 D3s, a uh, range of about 110 miles, and two AIM-9Xs with fuel tanks. Also, the kinematics of the Super Hornet is comparable to the Legacy Hornet. And finally, don't worry too much about the low observability of the Super Hornet over the Legacy Hornet. With all this loadout here, it's going to make neon no difference. So today, they are the closest we can get to Legacy Hornets with modern 2020s weapons. Oh, one other thing you're going to say is that Super Hornets have Aesa radars nowadays, which they do, and Legacy Hornets don't. But the whole idea of the Legacy Hornets carrying the AIM-120D is that they can fire them strictly via the data link from the AWACSs, which we think they can do in real life. So it's actually a pretty good analog. Anyway, I'll stop boring you now. Two squadrons F-35C with the max internal loadout with the sidekick mod of the latest block of six AIM-120D3s and two sidewinders and finally humans which will be in super hornets with the same loadout as we saw before there will be AWACS on the blue side as i'm sure there would be in real life there'll be a sentry out here which is what is going to spot the incoming fleet at about 300 miles 
So overall, the amount of ships and the amount of planes and the types of planes are about the same as we had them before. But the technology has advanced massively. We now have Chinese ships with supersonic missiles and hypersonic semi-ballistic missiles. We now have supersonic missiles being fired by the Chinese aircraft that go 250 miles. These things make China so much more threatening than we did in the previous version. But we've got defense. Modern American vessels from 2020 are so powerful. SM6 is going to reach out 150 miles. SM3 is going to reach up to 90,000 feet and shoot down semi-ballistic missiles. As well as that, we've got the defense from Miramar. Guys, we need to make a prediction. It's quite a complex scenario getting this working, and I have run it through. But the interesting thing I found, viewers, is that I actually got very different results each time I ran it through. That's mainly because when we're dealing with these hypersonic missiles, the thresholds for intercept are so small that each time you run it, it can come out very different, and that makes it exciting. So I have a question then for the mm -hmm. Chinese military here. What would they consider a victory? One ship taken out, the carrier taken out, or they have to have multiple ships taken out? I would suggest that, I mean, obviously, this would never happen in real life because China has nothing to gain from it. You know, America has, what, 13 carrier strike groups out there. It, you know, it would just get smashed straight away. But let's just say that in the role play, they want to take out at least the supercarrier. And that's what I've aimed all missiles at today. If they can take out the supercarrier and scuttle away without their ships being sunk, and they won't be sunk today because America has no um, anti-ship in place here at the moment, I think they'll consider that mission done. If they can take out more than the supercarrier, I'll consider a bonus. If they fail to sink the supercarrier, then I would consider that a failure. So, providing DCS and all the missiles go for the correct target, mm. and we've only got two Arleigh Burks firing, oof, that's hard. I do think the US will survive then, and the carrier will remain unscathed. Roger. And the two Ollie Burks, you're going to say, viewers, why two Ollie Burks? Why not 10? Why not 12? Well, this is done on proper data, on research by my friend Raven. If you want to go and see that research, just watch the original video. We spent 10 minutes talking about why we've set things up. Welcome into the battle. Fire, dark, cannonball, Chinese. Oh, more Chinese. How about that? Simba, bird, blue. Simba, please unpause the server. Viewers, this is exciting. No idea what's about to happen. No idea. Let's start with the Chinese. They should launch their hypersonic missiles. There's my human boys. YG-21 Zable. It will get to about Mark 10 and it will hit the ground at about Mark 7, which is what our best data tells us that they would do in real life, but it's very spurious data at best, but it's the best we can do. While we've got a few seconds, let's have a look. First at the Fujian ship here. It is an American carrier, and that's because we don't have Fujian in-game yet, but it's near enough for today. Let me go and have a look at the harbour. San Diego, a whale's head. Um, here they Ooh -hoo. are. Again, we had to remove the LCS viewers because they probably weren't crashing it, but we were having some problems. So we have. So that there is a prize asset, the one supercarrier that's in port at the moment at San Diego. Oh, Sam's are going out. Right, already they've set. Right, what's going on? SM6. They have SM6, they have SM3, they have ESSM, they have SM2. Today, they've chosen SM6. If you want to know what's going on, viewers, look at the scoreboard at the top right, if you can read it. It tells you what's been fired and how much money it costs. Oh, we've lost a J-15. Was that just human? Yeah, maybe. That was just dark being dark. You can ignore that one. Right, SM6, this missile here, viewers, a big, expensive, but incredibly good missile. Air to air, no, ground to air or ground to ground. Hmm. Look at those ones going straight up. Do you see those viewers? Those are probably the anti-ballistic SM3s overtaking. Now, these are really good missiles. They're like $12 million a pop. They're going to be going for those YJ-21s. And here we go. Right, let's go and watch. Got some misses. Oh, I can radar see the missiles. <laughs> you see the missiles. That's cool. They are very big and they're not very stealthy, so... Bang! We have an interception. That's all about PK. Probability of kill. How many missiles can I get? These, these have got through. Okay. The pure speed of them has got through, viewers. The next barrage of SAMs is now out. We won't be seeing any planes for a while, viewers. It's all about the missiles to begin with, which is the basis of the attack. ESSM's out. Super man maneuverable, close-range defense. 
No one got through so far. Bang, hit it. One left. Now this is just the first battery viewers. They will keep buying battery on battery on battery. Hit first set of are destroyed. Right guys, uh, let's have a look at some more humans. Uh, my apology for the old Super Hornet, Hornet model viewers. We have had a newer, much nicer one uh, given to us, uh, which is very generous of them, but I just haven't had time to put it into game fully yet. I'll put it on Dark's to-do list. So far, Red have fired 16 anti-ship missiles. Blue have fired one, uh, wow, one air-to-air -air missile and 31 SAMs. Now everything is limited as per real life. So there's only so many missiles that uh, the real ships have. I attempted to aid Eileen Burch. Tried to shoot him down. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It might work. Who knows? Can an Amram shoot a YJ-21 down? Okay, it couldn't Mir bend in time. Mir Miramar is, is... Well done for getting it on radar. Miramar is scanning. Uh, scanning. Scrambling. In their Australian livery. Not sure why I did that. They were just, uh... Attending a Barbie. Right, next. Salvo, not battery. Salvo of YJ-21's heading in. Oh, look at that. I know we're going to say, viewers, uh, this trajectory, this flight path is incorrect for the YJ-21s. And of course, you're right. But um, it's the best we can do with limitations. Its speeds are accurate. Missed. Mo is gone. No, no, no. Nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. It's still alive. It's still floating. It's good. They'll repair it. That's the problem. Eventually, you yeah, chuck enough hypersonic missiles. These missiles are not intended to beat Americans' defences. They can't. America have probably better weapons, SM3, but you chuck enough of them and one eventually gets through. Do you see that? It missed. It didn't fuse. Oh dear. I fear my Patreon may be reducing soon. Well, it hasn't sunk, so don't worry. Come on here, SSM. What do I pay you for? Better. Better. All is not lost, guys. Keep fighting. Better. Only one to go. Just fire everything at it, for God's sake. Even 2020 ships are very limited. They only have so many firing channels that they can actually fire on viewers. Everything is limited. Tactical deployment, very important. Right! I think that's all the hypersonic missiles gone for today, viewers. One of eight... No, one of 16 got through. It's taken the carrier down to half health, but you know, it's still... Well, it's not an active carrier. You couldn't, you couldn't go and sail with it now, but it's not sunk. It's not destroyed. They can repair it. So next, uh, they're going to send these guys out. YJ-18, high supersonic missiles. Uh, mark mm, two and a half, mark three in the terminal phase. Uh, now these are not as dangerous as YJ-21, but they are still very dangerous. Why? They go fast and they go low. And that's their MO. Right. Oh, a whole bunch of air-to-air -air missiles being fired now. And AIM-120s. So that is a YJ-21. Uh, God. PL-15, sorry. That is an AIM-120 D3. They have about the same performance. About 110, 120 miles. Both Mark 4, Mark 4.5 missiles uh, right now lots of sm6 is going out here i suspect these are actually for the j15s and in fact they are sm6 is a mighty weapon and it has a range of 150 miles and you can see there 150 miles it's shooting at these guys here and that's why they're having to notch left and right sideways to kinematically try and beat the sm6 it's a horrible 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 missile to try and have to defeat that said china has the same thing pretty much they have a hhq 9b range 150 miles uh, equivalent to an SM-6. I don't think it's as good a missile, but it's still going to do pretty much the same job today. Simba's running away. He's got PL-15s galore chasing him. I am Winchester Long Range Missiles, and I'm headed back to back, Rearm. Back to Miramar. Make sure you use the uh, different runway from the USMC, please. So far, fired. Uh, China, 12 air-to-air -air missiles, 24 anti-ship missiles. America, 10 air-to-air -air missiles, 67 surface-to-air missiles. Okay. AI firing their missiles. 
and then having to go defensive immediately, probably because of air-to-air -air missiles coming at them, which have run out of speed and down to 500 knots. These missiles are very finite. They're good missiles, and they can go 100 miles in good parameters, but they are very finite. Now, here's an interesting thing, viewers. Because of the dynamic of the new... We haven't done many new battles where we have all the latest units in. And what we see as a dynamic here, where the, the no-man's land, as I call it, kind of here to there, is about 80 miles. Why is that? Well, it's because the SAMs are so good now. 150 miles SAMs from here. 150 miles SAMs from here that no one can get in this no-man's land until those... SAMs start getting depleted. So you're going to have a very slow battle for a while while everyone's just dodging hugely big long-range SAMs. And then when the SAMs run out, it's going to turn into a massive slug dogfight fest. Today the American missiles are tinted white and the Chinese are tinted orange. It just helps identify what's going on. This SM6 is about to drop down from space on him just as it would in real life. Well, so you see, he's not got a warning because it's coming down above the ring of his uh, MWS detection. He doesn't know that's happening. That's a good missile. That said, Dark is now the vanguard of the Chinese pounding PL-15s in there. Some of them will connect, some of them won't, most of them won't. Everything's been fired at 90 miles, as you can see, viewers, at least. And pilots are not stupid, they won't just run into them uh, if they detect them. So most, 99% of these will be dodged. When they get closer and they start firing closer, a little bit later, it'll get much more efficient. Oh, fire's getting chased by SM6s, as I'm sure he knows. He's probably detected it because it's coming down from a much... Uh, lower angle. Money, very interestingly, both China and uh, America have used a third of a billion dollars so far. Very hard to beat these missiles. They've also got their own seeker heads on the viewers, so even if fire goes below the horizon, they'll still track them. They'll track them with their own radars and nasty pieces of equipment. Anyway, let's have a look at the YJ-18s. Blues, um, a noble task is to shoot down YJ-18s if you feel that's a good thing to do. Of course, all missiles can be shot down by planes today. The AI won't do it but the, uh, the humans may very well do it, it's up to you. They're fast is the problem. No man's land being kept at bay at 65 nautical miles, or maybe it's kind of more like that really, about 70, 80 miles. This guy's found himself at the vanguard, Mr. AI. Any idea where the fuel is in the Chinese plane? Um, no, anyone? I just need. wait for the lady to tell you. She'll shout when you've got 500 and half a ton of fuel left. Most of these missiles are missing for the reason I said before, viewers. They're fired so far out. By the time they get in the area where they should be tracking the aircraft, it's, it's long gone for whatever reason. I doubt, I doubt very few. This one's down to 500 knots. I doubt many will connect until we get a little bit closer. SM6, this is a different kettle of fish, though. It's a much bigger, faster, well, not faster, but longer range, more expensive missile. Why is it doing so well? It's coming down on top of the planes. It's outside the ring of those planes detection. Very hard things to beat. Well done, Dark. You just beat two SM6s. How did he do it? He went low and he went left to right. He notched them kinematically. But the bad thing about that is he uses all his fuel. Where the air pressure is very dense down there, he uses his fuel to do it. As good as killing him, basically, removing his fuel. Right, uh, some of these missiles are actually tracking for this one. This one's flown for 100 and something miles and it is still tracking. However, it's only 600 knots. It's probably not going to do anything. It can't turn at that speed. Look, it just can't turn quick enough. And it's gone. Four J-15s down. I haven't seen what's been happening to them. Probably SM-6 is finally catching up with them. The Ollie Burks still very much defending with uh, SM6. Uh, they've probably been shooting down those YJ-18s. In fact, they have. They've shot those YJ-18s down, viewers. Don't worry, though. Many more YJ-18s will be fired. Next salvo is here. Would they really fire them in salvos instead of one giant launch button, viewers? Everything we can find shows that Naval Doctrine is salvo-based rather than um, fire everything because you need... So tactically, you fire your first salvo, then you assess what's hit, and then you think about firing your next salvo, because it's not a game in real life. You've got to be really careful about what you fire, um, so that it tends to be the way it's done. Right, these missiles are long-range missiles tracking. Now, look how slow they are, viewers. Because they're slow at 600 knots, they can't turn very well. It does not have very big movement fins. Down 500 knots, it's going to get dodged again. Well done. Same thing on the Amram side, they're so slow by the time they reach their PF-15s that they've either been shot down by SM-6 or they're like this, 500 knots, and they're pretty much useless at 500 knots. That said, No Man's Land is 100% closed up now to 30 miles. That means something's changed, viewers, something important's changed. It means 
almost certainly high mad is gone hhq nines have gone and sm6s have gone yep we know that because we're down to sm2 much worse missiles cheap but worse range mm, 70 miles oh no there's some sm6s I take that back for you. They're probably prioritizing what they fire at at this point. No man's land is close. And that means big missiles and kills, kills, kills. As you saw there. Now three Super Hornets down. PL-15 slightly superior to the AIM-120 D3 in our sim. But it's not a great deal in it. We've done some proper comparison videos. About 10% at best. I've got an AIM-120. Clock in 700 knots. It's got a bit of aerodynamic maneuverability left. But probably not enough. What about him? Chasing him. Oh. Beat it somehow. Don't know how. Confused the missile. Wow. Kills are happening. Six J-15s down. Five Super Hornets down. It's all going... It's probably further back. Because see these Amram's hitting all the way back here. It's just a bit hard to track is all. Uh, I might go down. No. Still six to five. This missile's tracking. You can tell it's tracking because it wiggles its nose about. It's just how a missile has to track. And 500 knots, it's useless at that point. And pew, off it goes to do not much useful. New salvo of YJ-18s going in. Oh, look at that. Something just got blown out of the sky. That'll be one of those seven J-15s. Boom. Pons up in the sky. Sorry that we're doing a lot of map viewing today, viewers. But it's where the best information is going to be found, uh, as well as the scoreboard. It got too slow, and it was beaten by that guy down there. Well done, sir. Seven J-15s down to five Super Hornets down. Is it tracking? No. Gone dumb. Eight J-15s down. Can't find where it's happening, viewers. Probably in this batch here, I'd imagine. SM-6 is still going out, but much more sporadic now. This guy 100% getting chased by PL-15s. Eight J-15s down to five Super Hornets down. Nasty PL-15 heading in here and defeated. This guy being chased by an AIM-120 is the latest iteration and probably final iteration of the AIM-120 uh, viewers until JTAM uh, is released. Maybe Peregrine, but probably JTAM. All right, better go and find out where those YG-18s. So what we're going to see now is uh, the cheaper weapons coming out that haven't been used so far. SM-2s to attack the... Uh, YJ-18 threat, which are uh, perfectly capable of shooting these missiles down. Oh, they got him. Just didn't explode. It's now a game of attrition, viewers. Can the Chinese missiles outlast the American missiles, kind of as it would be in real life? Carrier groups tend to be have more defensive capabilities than offensive. So it's all about... How this guy's got in HQ-9. Look at that. Good evasion, but it won't last long because here comes another one. The Super Hornets have pushed two, they've killed too many J-15s. Somehow. A whole bunch of J-15s gone down. And they've got now in HQ-9 range, which are very dangerous missiles. And now 13 J-15s down to seven Super Hornets down. Action is loads of PL-15s being rippled out now. A new detachment of J-15 air-to-airs coming out. He's using so stupid words today. Squadron. His missiles have run out of something. Run out of battery, run out of work. Oh! It appears I lied. Wow, a whole bunch of Super Hornets just gone down. 13 J-15s down to 10. 11 Super Hornets. Right, let's see how the supply lines are doing, which are always important in these battles. Okay, we don't have any F-35s out yet. Why? Well, there's just one runway and they all need to share it. Actually, there's lots of runways, but only one will be used by AI. and There's nothing I can do about that. Probably the last Super Hornets out, I would suspect. Then probably F-35s are going to come out. In fact, I may have that wrong. I don't know. I haven't kept count. Right, what's going on here? Just like I said, viewers... No man's land is now down to minimal. So these missiles all of a sudden get really, really effective and everyone just starts getting shot down. And it's about even. 14 J-15s down to 12 Super Hornets down. And dare I say, lots of stuff happening. Splash. Well done. Very hard for humans to get kills in situations like this, which very much favour the hive-mindedness of AI viewers. The AI may look like they do stupid stuff, and they do, but they're very well suited for big battles like this. Why? Well, they're omni-aware. They don't have things like target fixation as bad as humans do. They just know what's going on all the time. 15 J-15s, 14 F-18s. And what a great air-to-air -air battle this is turning out to be. Simba's down here, plugging this guy with a bunch of uh, AIM-120s. And they're tracking. 
but he's been responded on and he's got to dodge this PL15 now. But the people's champ notches the chaff out of it kinematically and it's given up. Cost so far, America, 1.5 billion. That does not count the carrier, by the way, which is uh, 6 billion uh, because it hasn't been blown up completely. The Reds, 1.3 billion. What a great, great battle so far. What America needs now is to get its friggin' F-35s airborne. That's going to make a big difference. 15 Jade-15s down, 14 Super Hornets down. Simba is so far in, he's almost certainly going to get smacked, but let's watch. Can he dodge? Where is he? Where is he? Missile sniffed him. See what he did? He made the missile turn and it slowed down now. It slowed down to 400 knots. But he's probably going to beat those missiles. Well done. That said, he's got a human who wants his blood. And that human is not happy. This should be interesting. They can see each other because they have data link. These guys have data link from the carrier. These guys have data link from the E2. So they can't see what I can see, but they can see what they should be able to see. It makes sense. Lots of kills are missing now, obviously, but. It's all jolly exciting. Human on human action here. Simba versus Dark. I'm sure they know at this point. Simba's got an aim on 20 gone. Pitbull can Dark beat it. It's fast. It's fast, fast, fast. Great flying by Dark. He needs to do just enough to scrub the speed off the missile. 800 knots, 700 knots, 600 knots, 500 knots. Beat him. Well done. And they've neutralized each other out. Another uh, salvo of YJ-18s. A bunch of one aim 120s going out. A huge salvo of PL-15s coming out. That's going to hurt America. 17 J-15s down to 14 Super Hornets down. Simba and Dark still sizing each other up. An interesting choice there. Let's see what happens. His, his MWS has detected it. Oh, look at this. Exchanging hobs. Who's got the superior hob? The PL-15 or the AIM-9X? Oh, sorry, the PL-10. They're roughly about the same, depending on which websites you believe. The one difference is Dark has also got this to contend with, as I'm sure he knows. This is a great bit of human-on-human -human action going on in the middle of this. And my favourite action, as you all know by now, viewers, is human-on-human -human action. Bash. Whoa. Can Dark defeat these Sams? Lost him. Dark is on friggin' form today. The problem is now Dark and Simba are so good at dodging missiles, they've just dodged everything. Will this end up in a gunfight, viewers? Everyone likes a gunfight. Let's see. Remember, I don't... Mm, nope. Remember, I don't give them their massive loadouts anymore, viewers. I give them much more realistic loadouts, so they don't have those 14, 12, 14... Uh-oh! This is happening, viewers. It's all kicking off now. Simba is in the absolute world of hurt, and he knows. At this point, he wishes he has an F-15 and could get Mark 2.5 to chuff out of there. He doesn't. He has an F-18. Oh, that last salvo of PL-15s you saw of going out, viewers, has just reaped a terrible damage on the Americans. 20 Superbogs went down, or have gone down now. Big salvos going on. And there's the evidence of it. Good dodge. Aim 120 is not quite as good at chasing uh, people down as PL 15s. It might not make it. Oh, I take that right back. I take that right back. It's a lighter missile, but it's not because of that. It's actually not as good in a dive as a PL 15, which can use its uh, weight as a kind of energy in the dive. Right, Simba's been triangulated, and I think he probably knows his goose is cooked. Can't take on two humans. Come home, Simba. He can't. He's got no. He's got a bog. They took him down. It took two of them. Cannibal came at 40,000 feet and smashed a Mark IV missile into him. 21 J-15s down. 21. It's even Stevens. 21, 21. We now have the lightnings up. Oh. They shot down a retreating airplane. They did. How dastardly. They yeah, they have no soul. You know they have no soul. Viewers, the F-35s are now up. I know what you're going to say. I should have taken them off um, quickest first. But that's just tough S, I'm afraid. Right. Oh, look at this. Now, here's an interesting thing, viewers. Oh, here's a really interesting thing, viewers. Oh, it's really... Right. I've been so uh, looking at air to air, I've missed the anti-shipping. So what's happened is these J-15s have taken off. They've gone south by a few miles to get altitude, and they fired these YJ-12s with a range of 250 miles and a Mark IV top speed. It's not hypersonic, but it's high, high supersonic. Uh, it's not stealthy either. 
but they do have good jammers on them. This is going to be really interesting. Oh, now I'm really worried. We need those lightnings in quick. Here's the thing, the difference to last time, viewers. Last time, the J-15s have a limited range on their YJ-12, so they had to go there and then fire. Now they've got the full 250 miles, so they just take off, they go there in the SAM umbrella of their own ships and just fire at 250 miles. Now I'm really worried. Now, if I was an American now, I would think about taking YJ-12s down, hovering above San Diego and shooting YJ-12s down, which are very shootable. Oh, things about to get gassed for you. Let's look, firing more of them, see if I can catch one firing. There we go. That's the missile there. Mark IV capable. That is all just about fire as many as you can, make it go as fast as you can, and eventually one will get through. It's the same doctrine, but just not quite as much as the YJ-21, but they are much less expensive than YJ-21, easier to field than YJ-21. You can take them on aircraft, which makes them much more adaptable, dynamic. Oh, you know what? All of the AI Chinese air-to-air -air have been shot down. It's now just the respawning humans, which there's only a few of them aren't going to do a huge amount. Right. What we need now is those lightnings to supersonic their lightning faces to stop these guys firing. But I think it's too late. For a lightning, there, there they go. They're probably burning. Yep, they're good burning. They can only go Mark 1.6 viewers, which they will be going right now. But to do 150 miles, I don't know. I'm not too hopeful. I've set China up to win viewers in this case, as I always do. I want, I want everyone who attacks to win. So I've pulled zero punches and I'm worried what's going to happen now with these YJ-12s. ESSM is going to be the best thing that Ali Burke has left. This is a uh, moderately small, cheap, super maneuverable, anti, well, anti-everything thing, to be honest. Let's see, can it do its job? As it gets, oh, we got shot. Yep, so they're getting shot. Right, now, are they gonna have a NASF ESSMs? They're quad packed in the Mark 41 cells, viewers. Let's see if we see some. No, I can't see any, but they're quad packed in there. Which means they get 64 out of 16 cells used. Well, uh, like I said, anti-everything, but they're the only weapon that's anti-swarm. Uh, even the Seawiz isn't anti-swarm, but this is anti-swarm. And what they're seeing now is a missile swarm. 26 J-15s down to 21 Super Hornets down. Yep, it's taking them down. Well done! ESSMs doing what we pay them for, what the Americans pay them for. Oh, but they got high and low because they got low as well. Supersonic low. Something's going to sneak through. Nothing sneaked through yet, viewers. Look, apart from the original YJ 21s. But the problem America's got now is okay, yes, it's happening. The F 35s have got through to the Chinese group and they can't be intercepted by the SAMs because they can't be seen. And they're firing their missiles at the anti shippers. And that's exactly what they need to do take those anti shippers out. Now, how many anti shippers have taken off? Let me try and calculate. It's J 15 AS 3. That is J 15 AS 1. AS 2. So 1, 2, and 3 flights have already dispatched their missiles. What about these guys? These guys haven't yet. So half. Three on a YJ 12. Fox 3 on a YJ 12. Where are you, bird? Where are you? Bird shooting I'm the YJ 12. the same so. thing. Where are you guys? There they are. Look, they're shooting down. Yeah! Wow. Bird hit a YJ 12. First time we've managed to do that. Well done, boys. Unfortunately, simplified at the same one. But these things will happen. Oh, viewers, they're firing more. They're firing more AIM 120s. There's too much to watch, obviously, viewers. I'm doing my best. ESSM's taking out the YJ-18s. The boys are shooting down the threat of the Mark IV missiles with their own Mark IV missiles. Always exciting. Miss. Hit. Well done, bird. Well done, boys. Oh, isn't that a great game? Slash sim, viewers. How often do you get to see Mark IV missiles shooting the other Mark IV aggressor missiles down? Right, oh, I need a sip of tea, viewers, because I am dry. <sighs> right, the problem the Chinese got is the lightnings are now in. These can't be seen. I didn't tell you about the stealth, but the stealth of 0 0.002 square meters means they can only be seen within 20 miles. It makes them impervious to surface air missiles, pretty much. Um, and these guys will see them, but only at 20 miles. Uh, they do have electro-optical IRST, infrared search and track systems there. But realistically, they're only useful for about 20 miles in these type of scenarios anyway. AS... Fours fired. Only two more flights haven't fired their missiles yet, but they're now being attacked by the F-35. Now, one thing that really worries me is F-35 fuel. I didn't give them fuel tanks. Why? It, it increases their radar cross-section, viewers. I have to think about these things in my planning. And now I'm worried they're going to run out of fuel and have to turn home. Who knows? Oh, a whole bunch more YJ-12s probably going to be taken out by these ESSMs. When will the ESSMs run out? 
well, they fired 203 SAMs so far from those two ships. How many have they got? I think 240. So there are 40 more SAMs left. This is going to be tight. Next anti-ship is going up. This is AS5, the penultimate anti-ship is going up now, viewers. Costs $2.5 billion to $2.1 billion. What a brilliantly even fight all around this is. 26 Chinese aircraft shot down to 23. And if they five went down, who shot it? Possible friendly fire there. It's very unlikely Chinese would have shot it down. Uh, and friendly fire in a situation this big is inevitable, viewers. It will happen, and it will happen to a stealth just as Camel much. Camel Fox 3 on F-35. Oh my god. Uh, well, you know what I was saying about that? Yeah, 12 miles. That's the F-35's fault if it gets shot, viewers. It's shot its missiles off and it's... I'm two. First missile defeated. Stealth doing its thing, but the second one... What about the second one? Uh-oh. 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 Oh my god, it didn't fuse. It didn't fuse. It didn't quite get close enough, but it's coming in with a name like next. Oh! Things and stuff. That is stealth model. Damn well, viewers. Brilliant. Unlucky, uh, cannibal. You were fighting two stealths at the end of the day. Your missiles just didn't track. That's the thing. On the good side for the Chinese, the penultimate anti-ship flight has just fired the missiles. There's only one more AS-6 to fire, and then everything that China has has fired. The uh, these guys, apart from the Sams, are finished. The carrier doesn't carry any weapons anyway, and all of the uh, air wing of J-15Bs will have been depleted. Oh, Simba and Bird, what are you guys up to? RTB. 23 SAMs left on these ships, if I've counted correctly. Oh, I've got a big sore throat after this one, viewers. What a battle this one's been. I still don't know who's going to win. I still don't know who's going to win. Okay, we've now got lightnings within 20 miles of the carrier firing aim on 20 ds Poor old Chinese are about to get a taste of lightning. It won't last that long because they will run out of fuel. They will run out of ammo. Smashing J-15s down. As happens when you get stealth aircraft in the nest. But the real battle is here now. Those uh, American Super Hornets, uh, sorry, USMC Super Hornets can't do any anti-shipping. They can in real life, obviously, but they weren't equipped. I would expect the next lot to go out would be the anti-shippers. That said, they've all been shot down anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant now. Ooh, Fox 2 on a 35. Stand by, stand by. Yes, you did. Nope, but it killed him. Yeah, well, it got me. Yeah, they do that, I'm afraid, guys. This one's out of fuel. Finally out of fuel. So that is going to be the biggest Achilles heel of the F-35s. Because they can get so far and do so much, they run out of fuel. They can only go on after about a 200 miles max, and they've gone there 200 miles. Look at that salvo of A120Ds, viewers. That is one angry young F-35 pilot. Real angry. Real, real, real angry. And I really want to watch them hit, but I also really want to see... Okay, they're clear. The ESSMs have cleared that up. Watch those guys get kaboomied. Or not. One. Two. And the rest missed. Why? It's because they're Fox 3 missiles. The pilot doesn't actually get to choose which aircraft it fires at. The missiles will make their own decision when they get near there. And if they all want to go for the same target, they will. Another F-35 out of fuel. Not that there's anything tactical to happen here now anyway. They're not carrying anti-ship missiles anyway. Uh, so what they're going to do is clean up these um, jets. 40 Chinese jets. The last, the very last anti-ship has fired their missiles. Uh, one of them was shot down, but they fired the last one. So now it's all about YJ-12. What can YJ-12... Oh, they've got another one's got through. A gnarly Burke has been hit as well. I miss... Oh, they're out of... Missed, they're out of... Um... They're out of Sam's, finally. Yep, two, look at that. I guess 240 viewers. 236 have been fired. They are out of missiles. The best thing Americans can do now is shoot down the remaining YJ-12s. If you can do that, you'll save the port. Well, this is going right down to the wire, viewers, as more F-35s smash down a bunch of uh, landing circuits, uh, J-15s and circuits. Oh, that is really swatting flies. No, flies are hard to swat. Uh, shooting fish in a barrel, that's easy, isn't it? Even I could do that. Oh, fire dad just hit a at F-35 and he didn't take his hit. How does it feel, Viadad? We had a damage model failure. I can tell you how it feels. He is not a happy young Viadad. That's just the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, Ewington Wilmington's. Ear more. I oh, know, I was wrong. There are some more ESSMs. I got. My, I did get my math wrong. Let's watch these fire for a bit, viewers. I haven't really had much ship time. That's because there's been so much going on, I'm afraid. 
Do we really want to sit and watch ships when there's a massive dogfight going on? Not really. All 50, or both air wings of J-15s are now down. And like I said, they don't magically regenerate the missiles. They are all modelled accurately, viewers. Wow. Okay. One more salvo of YJ-12s to come, guys, and that's it. As you would expect in real life, the F-35s have swamped around a carrier group and have just picked off the remaining guys, and there's not much radio they can do. Oh, one just got shot down. F-35, who did that? That was a good shot. That was a That human. was me, but it was a trade. Well, I would be happy with trading with an F-35, if I'm honest. How about that, viewers? Was it uh, IRST or is it uh, radar? Nope, that was radar. Well, stealth is not invisible, viewers. No one's ever claimed that stealth is invisible. It can always be seen within a certain range. Within 20 miles, that thing there can be seen. It can't be shot as well because missiles struggle as well, radar-guided missiles. But it can be seen and it can be shot at. One more salvo of YJ-12s coming in. It's imperative that America defends against them. I would do whatever is in my power to get airborne and go and shoot them down. Okay, bird's landing. As soon as you landed, you can respawn and get up there, bird. But you've got to be quick, bird. They're 50 miles out of Mark IV. That's quick, 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 quick. Uh, not much to see here now. Dark's about to get a face full of America. And no one wants a face full of gentlemen's America. Can his magic Simba skills? No, they can't. Get some, Junior. YJ-12s now 40 miles out. Can Bird get there in time? He is scrambling. Whatever the hell happened to Simba? Two ships on fire still. Go on, Bird. Go on, Bird. Defend Trey Americas. That last AI just will not go down. Just die. Finally, all Chinese AI... Huh. All right. Don't know. ESM's going out. Come on. They'll go above the target, then dip the nose down, turn their radar on viewers, and then uh, and find the biggest ship they can find. Or the, whatever their specification. Oh, no, they're going to go above it. Huh. Oh. Taking them down. Yeah. Hey, look, he's even got his aim on 20. Got him! Well done. That is every single anti-ship missile that... The good Lord blessed China with. That was a total of, let's look at the scores here, viewers. 55 J-15 shot down. The Chinese fired 125 Wowzers PL-15s, uh, 5 PL-10s, 94 anti-ship missiles, hypersonic and supersonic, 49 SAMs at a cost of 4 billion equivalent dollars. America have lost all Hornets, or 22, nearly all of them, 4 uh, F-35s, they're just messing around now. 155 AMRAMs fired, 6 AIM-9X, and critically, 263 SAMs, SM-3, SM-6, SM-2, and ESSM were fired. No sure rad was fired. Who won? And what happens from here on in? I guess there's next question. Oh, at a cost of $3 billion. $3 billion. So it was very costly. The supercarrier got hit. One missile hit it, but it wasn't enough to fully destroy it. One missile hit, you can survive. It puts it out of action. It's not going to fight any wars. It's not going to go chase the other one down, but it's out for a year or whatever. F-35 down, finally. Well done. Also, the YJ-12s finally got through at some point. I missed it and hit this Ali Burke. It's pretty much scrap metal at this point. Uh, it's so smashed. I, I guess they would scuttle it at that point. I don't know. You tell me. So, China got a consolation prize in that they damaged a capital ship and they probably sunk a destroyer, but they did not succeed on their mission. Uh, America did defend very bravely. It was mainly the naval units that did the defense, but obviously without the fighters, then they just would have been completely swamped. Question is what happens next? Well, in reality, all of the Chinese have been shot down. They would turn tail and run. Would they get very far? No, because America would be tracking them with the satellites and E3s. They would load up Super Hornets or whatever, the next bunch, with anti-ship missiles, Lorazm, charge them after and, and sink them with those missiles. So, you know, obviously they wouldn't get away with it. But that was very cool, guys. Thoughts? And what did you guys see from your side? Yeah, it was a hard battle for the 18s. The US Air Force do have an Air Force base nearby, which I think would help with them gaining air superiority. Not that we needed the air superiority in the end. I think, though, the F-35s would have been better if they were launched first. But yeah, oh well. Simba tells me there's an F-15 base uh, nearby, like 50 or 40 or 50 miles away. I was unaware of this. Uh, and we haven't modelled it, obviously, but yep, that's a fair, a fair comment. Well, I really enjoyed it. Sometimes it works out great, sometimes not so great. But this time, everything was perfect. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, viewers, and bye-bye. Can I land on this carrier, though, still? Go on, then, bird. Camera's rolling. I don't see what could go wrong. The, the 
what I was trying to say is, so if from San Diego to the carrier was 250 miles, yeah. Fresno to the carrier would be like 290 miles. Roger. Yeah, you could easily get an F-15 uh, over. Yeah, no, it's a fair comment, guys. Bird! Lucky I did keep the camera rolling. How do you feel, Bird? I think we could use this carrier still. <laughs> Apparently, the carrier is still serviceable. Double up set to China. Bye-bye.